model. There it is, Jake's written on the side of it. Guess that's some technical doubt on it, might be, so it's an argument. I've been working for a couple of years on an aeroplane like this and losing it to the fact that my pets weren't charged properly or overcharged. Well, in this book it'll show you how to do it properly. Watch it take off, ladies and gentlemen. It's for real. Look at that. What a remarkable aeroplane, all four engines. We cut those trees away, especially so that he could take off properly. More than once, from your right. Fifteen feet it is, look. 
weighs over 70 pounds. This is the one that's designed to go into the docklands and serve the city of London. Come down total time to travel to the centre of London. Isn't that marvellous? Gear up, undercarriage up, everything all together. It's got four special engines in it. Two laser 150B twin engines, uh, four stroke engines, which make it sound exactly right, of course, and two laser 120B four strokes. This will eventually be operational. Here it comes. 50 seat airliner, the full size. Full chat now, look, nice camera run. Doesn't that look super? Member of the Large Model Association. If you want to belong to that Large Model Association, you've got to, couldn't do better than coming to get a, come and get a form from us here. It is a gorgeous aircraft though, isn't it? 50 seat, John. Jeremy Shaw, he's been building models for a good many years. Especially interested in large models like this. But you've got to admit that's only exactly right, isn't it? High teal tail, tea tail job all over the place. We used to have a regular visitor here, you know, Lord Pilkington. He always used to come to our show, Saturday and Sunday. I oh, admit that looks just about right, though, doesn't it? Just lay it on good and heavy, boost down look. Main gear down. They're designed especially by Mick Reeves, these undercarriage. Especially strong to stand the weight and the shock of these aircraft. This aircraft as it comes down the land, don't we get you're getting the full weight scale exactly as per the full size. But that just looks gorgeous, doesn't it, there in the sunshine? You've got to be fair and give the guy credit. I don't know how much time he has to see his patient find. He's always building big aeroplanes. And I don't know where they sit nowadays. They certainly can't sit on the table. They're full up with aeroplanes. Coming in over the caravan site on our right then. Downward landing. The de Havilland Canada Dash 7. Everything hanging down. Watch the landing. Now, this is how it will be at, in the docklands of London. Like that. Now, watch as it flares. That was a flyby. I was right. Oh, yes, I was. <laughs> you what? When it lands, you jolly well make sure. You give him the biggest round of applause. British doctor, good old round lad, Dr. Jeremy Shaw. Four British engines there. Look at that approach. Doesn't it look gorgeous? Wow. And he'll be landing it next time round. No, he won't be landing it this time round. Oh, my God. Off he goes again for another flyby. Right, bit of breeze. You're here entirely at your own risk. Slight bit of drift there, look. Look at that. What a beauty. Oh, gorgeous. Not yet gorgeous. Now it's gorgeous. Put your hands together. Jeremy Shaw. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <Aren't they? laughs> I tell you what, I was at a show once and I, I went into the garage immediately opposite. Gentlemen, with the 